Static graphics are a way to add uh, bitmap, GIF, JPEG, and other image styles to your screen. The simplest of the graphic uh, renderers is the static graphic. And to add one of those, simply click on the icon in the toolbar, and that'll bring up a dialog box and allow you to select which file you want to use. In this case, we're going to choose the keg. You then click and drag your image into the screen, wherever you want to put it, and it will render it however you want. Uh, there are a number of different ways that you can render your image uh, using the image layout uh, property over here on the right hand side in the property editor. You can zoom, which will fit it to whatever dimensions you have the bounding box set at. You can set none, which is the exact dimensions that are in the original file. Tile actually tiles the image, um, so you get a whole bunch of them and then center puts it directly in the middle of your bounding box shrink this down a little bit and then stretch will actually squish it into whatever size you select so we're going to stick with zoom for the purpose of this demonstration now if you have a certain color that you want to make transparent you use the mask color property to, uh, do, to do that so in this case we're going to set red as our mask color go and that portion of the image is now rendered transparently. In addition to just a single color you can also make the entire image uh, translucent um, by setting the image alpha property and 255 is completely opaque. If we set it at 128 you'll notice that you can actually see through the image to some of the background um, of the screen. Make it even stronger then the keg appears to be you know almost ghostly it's all barely there at all so the static graphic is the simplest of the graphic types the other ones build on top of it and we will cover those in another tutorial